it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I decided to do another daily vibe because that other one ended so abruptly. So I figured, you know, I should do another one. So keep in mind that everything that comes out of my mouth during a reading is part of the reading. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. That reading that I just did had an abrupt ending. Okay, I didn't even get to say goodbye. So somebody consider that part of the message. Okay. All right. So we're going to get started. Everything that happens during a reading is part of the reading. All right. So keep in mind the timing is fluid and take bits and pieces. Some of this may resonate. Some of this may not. This reading is not sign specific and it's not time specific. This is for whoever needs it. Okay. My readings tend to resonate with people that watch, watch me on a regular basis. I mean, they do resonate with new people as well because I get comments from those people that say, Oh my God, I just came here and I can't believe this. But, you know, I, I tend to find I get a lot of the same commenters that, uh, you know, tend to be following the story and it's following their life. So, keep that in mind. What do we have for a message? Queen of Cups reversed. So, I feel like this is the King of Cups reversed. This one uses females. So, this is the King of Cups reversed. This is uh, somebody that doesn't have good intentions or uh, they're closed off and withdrawn. Um, somebody that is very secretive. They're not expressing their true feelings, they're not telling the truth. Okay, King of Cups reverse. Maybe they could be very emotional, have a hard time expressing their feelings. They could be um, not telling the truth. Okay, this is the King of Cups in reverse. Is is somebody that is could have emotional outbursts because they hold it in until they burst. Um, this is. Uh, an individual that may be obsessive, may be um, emotionally dysfunctional and insecure. There also could be an unrequited love situation here. Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. They came out like this. So this is this is uh, working together. Putting in effort. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. This person appears to be giving something. Giving something away of value. So there's working together here. Then somebody is, this person's giving something away of value. But we have this King of Cups in reversed up here who is closed off and secretive. We have this person that has plenty that is giving something. These, we have one person that these people are working together so this is to working together to build something following somebody is reading off the plan these people are building it they're building something this person may be paying for it there's somebody here that doesn't have good intentions Nine of Swords reversed. Now this is extremely exhausted. Giving deep thought to a relationship. I think that we have, somebody needs to give deep thought to a relationship. And maybe that's what they're doing. There is somebody here that does not have good intentions. There may be a third party. Okay, there's a third party here. Maybe there's somebody that is, is, is going over the plans. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to get it. We're, you know, we're going to work together to get, take this from this person. So there's, it feels like there's a conspiracy here. Now this is reading of some sort of paperwork. A contract or something like, or plans. I mean, there's some, some sort of contract or plans in this person's hand. Now, I'm not sure what is going on, but this is, you need to give deep thought to whoever it is that you're dealing with because you're dealing with somebody that is looking for a handout by the looks of things or something like that. Or we have somebody here that is obsessed with money. 
there this is this this could be somebody that is obsessed for money this is giving or taking this person is either giving it away or they're sitting here thinking ha ha look what i got usually the four of pentacles is very obsessive so we could be dealing with a water sign okay that is very obsessed with money or something like that they've got some sort of plans and we got another individual that is really worried and and really giving deep thought to the person that they're dealing with so that makes sense starting fresh the fool so this is a fresh start starting over now the fool can be impulsive okay the fool is impulsive um This is a new beginning, starting a new journey, leaving all the baggage behind, going down a new path. Somebody is being given an opportunity to go down a new path. This is a fresh start. This is also freedom. Knight of Swords reversed. Oh my God. Now the Knight of Swords reversed is not good. Okay. The Knight of Swords reversed is, uh, this is somebody that is insincere, which would make sense. Mirroring the King of Cups reversed. We have an individual here that is insincere and there's money right here. All they, and this is obsessed Okay, the Four of Pentacles is obsessed. This is somebody that is very greedy. This is going their own way. This is being not wanting to have a care in the world. Okay, so I feel like we do have a very selfish individual here that is looking to live a carefree life on somebody else's dime. This Knight of Swords reversed, though, is... Oh, wow, it could be explosive energy. This is dangerous. We could also have an individual in this scenario that is clueless. Only very selfish, only cares about themselves. Somebody's not listening to their gut either. We've got the high priestess reversed. That is lack of awareness. So we definitely have a clueless individual here that is unaware of who they are dealing with. And I feel like their gut is, is really poking them because this is deep thought. It's like their, their gut is saying this person is not right. This person is uh, using you or this person um, doesn't have good intentions. They don't really love you. Or, and that's what this is. But they're not listening. The higher high priestess reverse, this is ignoring intuition, ignoring what you're hearing, ignoring your gut. Now the high priestess in reverse, somebody is 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 an individual or is listen or is dealing with an individual that is very shallow, um, not very spiritual, uh, lacks uh, knowledge. Um, doesn't have a lot of friends, keeps a lot of secrets, but I do feel like there's going to be a secret that is revealed. This person has been hiding something and it's going to be revealed, I do believe. Seven of Wands reversed. So there's going to be a setback. This person is worn down. They are worn down. They've been trying to prove themselves. They've been overly competitive. And they've been fighting, 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 fighting. And there's going to be a fall from power. There is. There's. This is like uh, ignorant. With the, with the high priestess and the knight of swords reversed. This is an in, ignorant individual that is about to... Uh, maybe bite off more than they can chew. They may fall flat right on their face. Now the fool is is uh, starting a new journey. This is giving up. Stepping down. This is bad news. Okay, the knight of swords reverse is bad news. 
We have a secret that has been hidden. And it does have something to do with money. We have a selfish individual here that only cares about themselves. It's the truth. Okay. It is. Nine of Cups. This is an individual that wants to have it all. Wants to have it all. This is wants to live that carefree life. Very arrogant. Very arrogant. Wants to show off. We do have a show off here. Um, that just wants to have it all. But I feel like uh, this. Per we have one individual that, that it's almost like stealing. I don't know why I feel that way. Um... Very proud, very proud of what they've accomplished. Very proud of uh, what they can show others. You know, it's this person, it's like showing trophies. Look what I got, look what I got, look what I got. We have a very selfish individual here. But this is, this is a, this is like a, not winning, put it that way. Going down. This is going down. Oh, five of wands reversed. There's been it's been a constant battle. Now, right next to the seven of wands reversed, this has been a, a huge com competition. Somebody has been overly competitive here. It's almost like there's been some sort of full scale battle, right? But this is the end of a conflict. It is. There's some sort of extreme exhaustion here in being fed up. Fed up with the lies because the, the, the high priestess reversed is lies. Somebody's fed up. They're exhausted. Can't fight anymore. This fight is just about to end. It is. The fight is over. Six of Cups reversed. Now the Six of Cups reversed is freedom from obligation, packing up and leaving home. Could be some bad memories as well. There is definitely packing with the fool. There's somebody's leaving. They're leaving. They're packing up and they're leaving home. They're leaving with their good. They're taking what they, their their jewels or whatever is most important to them, and they're leaving. Somebody's going to be freed from their obligation. There is some definitely some bad memories of fighting, a lot of fighting going on here with the Seven of Wands and the Five of Wands. There's been a lot of fighting, but I feel like the fight is over. I do feel like the fight is over. There's there's something. It's like Page of Cups. Good news is coming. This is the Page of Cups. So good news. Good news is coming. This is welcome news. It's unexpected as well. <sighs> now that's the Ace of Cups. So somebody is about to see an opportunity because that's an opportunity for love. Somebody's supposed to going to follow their heart as well. It's like they see love and they go for that. Because we do have a new beginning here with the fool. Oh, the world reversed. Eee. The world reversed. Now we had the world in the last one, but it was upright. Now the world reversed is uh, stuck. Lack of closure without saying goodbye. Somebody may be leaving without saying goodbye. And I, because that other one ended abruptly. Somebody may be, and the fool would certainly suggest that. Somebody may be following their heart and leaving without saying goodbye. This is no closure. Unfinished business as well. Not learning a lesson. We have a very secretive individual here that underneath it all, that is at the bottom of this, okay? That is very secretive and didn't have a good intentions. And I feel like that person 
is going to learn a bad lesson, okay, a tough lesson with the world reversed. They're going to have a lot of sleepless nights in the future. They're going to have a lot of uh, internal conflict inside themselves. The person that didn't have good intentions. Anyhow, the world card reversed is definite. I mean, we have frustration all over. Frustration, 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 frustration. We have somebody that is very, very frustrated. And they're frustrated because they won't, they're refusing to explore new avenues. They're stuck in the present. They're stuck on winning and competing and competition and fighting instead of just moving on. So, but anyway. Now, the Page of Cups is good news is coming. Good news is coming. And for some of you, it's, it's definitely good news. This fight is over. This battle is over. The competition is underneath. The competition is over. Somebody is packing up and leaving. Oh, we got the Empress on the bottom. Isn't the Empress is beautiful? Isn't she beautiful? The Empress is the, is the, the goddess of love, right? So the Empress is the, the birth of a new life. This is the birth of a new life. It, it actually is. So there's somebody is about to experience pain. Okay, because you don't give birth without pain. So there, and it's drastic pain. Okay, it's the worst pain. Okay, it's good. It's a good amount of pain. Okay, so somebody is going to be experiencing some pain. All right, and I can see that. I can see that. Okay. Um, the pain is going to lead to a new beginning. It's going to lead to a new life. So there could be news of uh, a pregnancy, news of a birth, um, news of a departure. Whatever this news is, it's going to be good news. I do feel like there is, um, there's been a constant battle. There's been a lot of fighting. Um, and I think it's over. I think it's over. I do. Um, there's about to be, um, a release. Okay. She's about to release. And it's all about love because the Empress is love. Okay, she's about unconditional love. Something to do with a mother as well. Mother, A mother is about to deliver love, a miracle. I mean, a baby is a miracle. So there's about to be a miracle, whatever that miracle is. And, and it has to do with abundance and love. And this is love. Remember I said looking at love. So this is, a, this is a very loving individual who delivers love. So somebody is going to be uh, dealing with this individual. Now the Empress is very nurturing. She has plenty. She's a natural. She can grow anything. She's sensual. She's beautiful and she demonstrates love like a mother would, like a true mother would. Okay, unconditional love. So anyway, this is the birth of a new life. So be prepared to hear a message. And it may have something to do with a mother, or it may have something to do with a delivery, or it may have something to do with a birth, or it may have something to do with a new beginning. Whatever this is, it is very good news. But I have to tell you, the good news comes after pain. And that's the reality of it.
interesting that I put this this right on top of that. She remains on top because she is in unconditional love. Somebody's going to be packing up and leaving home. And that's good news to whoever this person is. Which is interesting. Now the Empress, we're just going to keep going. The Empress has multiple options. She's beautiful. She knows her value. She's the queen of she's the queen of all queens. She knows her value. She is unconditional love. Now this is a lesson that wasn't learned by a secretive individual. Lack of success. This, whoever this person is that was very secretive isn't going to be successful with their plans. Good luck. 